I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton, and it's time to find out what's going around. The heroin epidemic is all over the news, and there are very few signs of any relief in near sight. Heroin is still the predominant opioid overdose, but we've seen other opioids ending up in the heroin, resulting in a more potent product and higher risk of overdose and death. Interestingly, we tend to see these overdoses come up in batches as new product hits the streets. It's also not just a problem in the big cities. We're seeing this in cities of all sizes, from metropolitan regions to small rural towns. The challenge is that a batch of overdoses can overwhelm services in smaller areas, including EMS, ER, and police services. Larger areas tend to be able to manage the rises better, but can keep frontline medical services very busy. The challenge is that an opioid overdose is one of the most time-sensitive emergencies out there. Overdose causes respiratory suppression and obstruction that will basically lead to suffocation and low levels of oxygen. Within minutes, the victim can suffer permanent damage and death. The intervention is the reversal drug called naloxone and assisting oxygenation and breathing as indicated. With legislation, naloxone is becoming more available, but having someone administer that medication can be very difficult. Early notification of police and EMS can assist the victim, but bystanders may have to jump into action to decrease that risk of complication. Over recent months, the amount of naloxone required to recover these overdoses has increased. As batches of heroin are laced with drugs such as methadone, fentanyl, and others, it takes more of the reversal medication to get the patient breathing sufficiently and awake. The key for the community is education. Understanding the realities, signs, and what you can do to help people in need. In the end, the light at the end of the tunnel is going to be recovery. Helping folks into programs that can get them out of the addiction cycle and decrease the risk of overdose. You can join the conversation on Facebook, on the What's Going Around page, and the Stanton MD page as well. Also Twitter, at EverydayMed. I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton, and that's What's Going Around.